backflow is just about what it says it is. It's the reverse flow of water due to some hydraulic forces on the downstream side of our connection that would cause water to reverse and move back into the city water. A backflow device is designed to prevent any sort of water from moving back into the city main line. Any time that we do anything with a piping system that influences that city main, and that's what we've done here to connect the irrigation system, we've actually tapped into that piping system. So we're making a cross connection. There's two ways the backflow can occur. One is called back pressure and the other is back siphonage. For example, say there was a city break, a city main line break that might interfere with how fast that water is, is moving due to the break. If the irrigation system were turned on and there's that change in pressure, it can move back into the city water and contaminate it. Uh, back siphonage is kind of like uh, drinking water out of a straw. That's how it works. So, and back pressure, pretty much the same idea. It's a hydraulic force. The city main is downstream of this system. And so with an abrupt change in pressure downstream, it could draw the water from this irrigation system back into the city drinking water. And of course, contaminants, fertilizers, pesticides. And we don't want that to happen, of course. When we think about backflow, a garden hose is, is a big culprit. Now, just using your garden hose is not going to cause a problem. But if you had your garden hose that's connected to your, your water faucet in your house, and if that end of the garden hose were in a tub with some sort of a chemical or some sort of a contaminated fluid, if the hydraulic forces are just right, that water can move from that tub of contaminated fluid or pesticide back into the plumbing system of the home. If you take a look at your outdoor water faucets, there's gonna be a little device on it. And that little device is a backflow device. And that is on there to prevent just that happening. A lot of the older homes, you're not gonna see that. If you check your water faucets, your outdoor water faucets to discover that they just you know, there's just a handle and you just turn them on and off. There's not a little round device on the top of it. That indicates that you do not have a, a backflow on there. Just any plumbing contractor that you might use is able to put a new one on there for you with the backflow device. Here in Manhattan, we get to use what's called a double check valve. It goes in the ground so we don't see it. Whereas pressure vacuum breaker, this must be a specified height above ground and so if this is sitting above ground the highest point on an irrigation system it's going to be highly visible prone to vandalism and prone to freezing this device is the reduced pressure assembly to prevent high hazard situations this one also has to be above ground a certain height so here again exposed to the elements vandalism and so forth on any device that's above ground because they are made with brass the device has to be winterized. You know, the system has to be winterized. All the water needs to be removed from that system before the potential of freezing. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.